Hello everybody, welcome back to the Goalie Be a Pro. That's what we're going to be doing. Being a pro. Goalie. Kinda. Right now we are in round one of the Stanley Cup playoffs against the Golden Knights. And this is our first time being named the starter. At the moment we're down 2-1. But, like I said, if the pattern continues, we should win the next game and tie this thing up. Bringing it down to a best of three. It is definitely worth noting that this is our first playoff run as the starter. So, obviously we gotta break the ice here. And, yeah, it's a totally different style of hockey. I mean, in this it's probably not. But, I'm gonna run with the storyline anyway. Once again, I don't know what's going on with those jerseys back there. But, can the Ducks have those? Actually, I'm just kind of thinking making equipment as a goalie for those could be a nightmare. It could be fun though. At the moment, our first line consists of Mason McTavish, Trevor Zegras, and Frankie Vetrano. Barabanov, Terry, and DeBrusque make up our second. Defensively, we are quite solid. We have Hannafin, Pesci, Drysdale, and Fowler. And then our final pair isn't terrible. And tending the net, we have the man, the myth, the not-so-legend. Well, you know what? The actual Scott Sterling is a legend, but this Scotty has not cemented that just yet. Hopefully we have a good sim here, and we go in either leading or tied. I would prefer not to be losing, obviously, and I don't want to have a 3-1 series deficit either. That would be quite the task. Power play for the Knights, and they have the longest power play ever? What was that? They didn't score, though. We're more than doubling them in shots, okay. Not anymore, but still. We are out shooting them to the max. No goals after one. Second period is underway, and there we go. Brock McGinn gets the Ducks in the lead. Nice Drysdale pads. And I, when it froze, I for sure thought they were tying it up. But no, we got the insurance marker. Things are looking good for the Mighty Ones right now. Come on. Come on, let's keep it. Let's keep that shutout intact. I like where this is going. So I'm recording this on November 2nd, and as of now, there is still not a setting, at least I don't think, for turning off the tethering. I still plan to do it when the option is made available, but right now, we are still stuck being pulled back to the center of the net. Oh my word, I thought we were going to have one. A three-goal lead would be huge. Not going to lie, I haven't faced a shot yet, but I still feel kind of shaky, so... Really want to get that first one and have that under our belt, of course. That goes nowhere near the net. Theodore, around. Win that battle. Oh, no. He's going to pass it in front. Thankfully, there wasn't anyone there. Petrangelo also missed the net miserably. What's going on? Are they throwing? Honestly, you know what, though? I'm not against us having no shots in this third period. Like, not us having no shots, but, like, no shots against Scott. You know what I'm saying? Because as it sits right now, we haven't been scored on. So our save percentage is looking mighty fine. Oh no. Oh yeah! Glove save! Back to the point it goes. White Cloud across to Hag. Oh my word, that was close. All right, they are really cranking up the pressure now. Thank you, Fives. What a wonderful defensive play. Oh, trying to win another Con Smythe. Are you there, Johnny boy? I doubt it. Not happening because it's going to 5-3. Just, I feel like it's pretty much impossible. For a goalie to win the consummate. Like, it's it's happened, I'm sure. But. Really tough. Actually, yeah, because didn't Vasilevsky get it during one of Tampa's two wins? I think so. So a goalie has won the consummate recently, at least as far as I can think. Whew. Where is it? Oh, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't even see it. I need to find out how this happened because it made no sense to me. Okay, so our player actually grabbed it for a second. Cam Fowler said, hey, give me that yoink. And then I guess he got hit. Slid five hole. That could have been devastating. But thankfully the post is our best friend. Nope. Okay. No, get up, get up, get up. Our goalie's fatigue is at a minimum. So I feel like the Desperado saves are going to be coming out here. And, okay, they lost it. Great play by Lacombe. The stick lift was massive. 
Here we go, 3-9. Gets in the corner. Nice pass. Great effort. Our third line doing work. Come on, Frank. Nice pass. Leonard's making some impeccable stops at the moment. But we are now under seven minutes to go. And the lead that we came into this period with is still intact. Let's see a big draw win from you here, Trevor. Come on. Win it on the forehand. Oh, he does. I thought for sure he lost that draw. But no, he pulled it through at the end there. McTavish picks it up. Oh my word, what a play. And he got shut down. Give me that. Let's get some team play in here. There you go. Right to you, Mason. You don't need defense. Just need Scott. Unacceptable. No one is standing up for Zegris getting leveled. I don't believe what I'm seeing. Ooh. Tarasenko going for the glove side snipe. But no dice. That will be gloved down. And the Ducks are back on the attack. DeBrusque loses it, but it finds its way to Vetrano, who tries to take a shot. That hit the man in front. And the Golden Knights might be coming back this way. Yes, they are. Marchessault is in. In the middle of Theodore. Our team is doing wonderful defensively right now. And I appreciate it wholeheartedly. Pietrangelo goes behind the net. And in front to Rozovic. Easy. I should not have passed that. Absolutely should not have done that. I apparently need to pay more attention when I'm scheduling videos because it happens more often than I would like to admit that I upload at midnight. <laughs> you know, normally my time is 4.30 p.m. Eastern. And yeah, I don't know how I managed to pull that off, but I'm assuming it's just that I select the date and not a time, which is impressive. It's all done in one little thing. So... Like, maybe I get distracted. I'm not sure what happens. What a save by Robin. Giving his team an actual chance here. I mean, they need two and they need him quick. So the odds, still not in their favor. Oh, now it's... <laughs> Horizontally, you were mint. Vertically, what are you doing? It's an empty net. You can just slide it along the ice. There's no one there to block it. There's no invisible wall. Just tap it in. Maybe it's not ideal for gameplay, but like NHLers don't miss those. You know, like it should be going in 99% of the time. And I'm talking like once you pass the red line. You know, you don't have to be over the blue line. It should still be on net. If it's past the red line, they could miss. If it's their own zone, then they're probably gonna miss. But, if all they have to do is overtake the blue line, it should be a goal. You guys like that first star action? <laughs> Not a big deal. Can't wait to let up seven and a half in the next one. As of now, the pattern has continued. It has been win-loss, win-loss, or I guess loss, win, loss, win in our case. But, now it is a best of three. So these games are uber important. Whoever wins this one is one away from advancing to round number two. And obviously I want that to be us. And if the pattern continues, it won't be us. So we have to snap that right now and try to come out of this game with a W. Nice, McTavish scores on the eighth shot of the game for the Ducks. Giving us a 1-0 lead, but Petrangelo comes right back and ties it up. He's not gonna go down that easy. All right, it is a 1-1 game after one. And Stone scores on the first shot of the second. Giving the Golden Knights the lead. Oh dear. Gone. What just happened? If we can get one more and at least make this a one goal game, that would be splendid. But how do we go from a shutout? To, to be fair, I did call it. We're three away, three and a half away from what I said. This is still winnable. All right, Ducks. We either have a... I thought he was going right into the bench. Have a amazing third period comeback here, or we have to win two straight. And yeah, both of those things do not seem easy. All right, there we go. They are getting a lot of shots early on. It looks like they have all the momentum. They took that 
shut out personally. And they are on a mission to bury Scott Sterling right now. But so far, we are up to the challenge. Okay. To be fair, I was really backed up into the net. So... I'm gonna say that one's on me. At least it wasn't like a tie game or something, you know? We're already losing. So it doesn't feel as bad. Also, what a tip. It is gonna feel kind of bad if we score one soon though because it's like it could have been a one goal game but instead now if we score it's still a two goal game. Well, that is the worst lead in hockey, so they say. Ooh, that was through a crowd too. Managed to get the blocker on it though. Saw it last second. They are not giving up. The pressure the Golden Knights are applying right now. It's scary. It is scary. The good news in all this is that this is not an elimination game. Also, is Zegris out? Because he got hit pretty hard at the end of last game. And I just saw McTavish taking the draw. And there is no power play or anything. So... I'm thinking Trevor's not in the lineup right now. That hurts a lot because he was over point a game in the season. That would have gone right through my glove. Nope. Get denied. And can we please win that battle? No, we cannot. Yeah, we don't really have a lot going for us in this one. Petrangelo loses it. Attaboy, Terry. Stay on him. And he's laying the body. At least somebody wants to win. Great saves, Robin. Going into a desperation mode. But it looks like the Golden Knights are probably going to get the puck out here. Or just play keep away. No, they did in fact exit their zone. And now here they come back on offense. What was that? I don't know if I've ever seen someone do that. He basically just like pop flyed it for fun. Oh no. Oh yeah. What a save. Oh! Get out of here. Can someone please move this man? Pesci, don't just let 4-9 stand there, okay? Let's go here, lads. Let's get one. Just for our pride. So that we don't get deleted 5-2. I, again, am assuming that they're not going to score another one. Bold assumption. But I think we can pull it off. March so is in. And he misses violently. That was nowhere near the net. I think that got tipped. Ah! I did not mean to pass it that way. And we take a penalty. This is... That is all on me. My bad, lads. Didn't mean to do it. 30 seconds left on the power play. There you go. And you're open. Okay, so you know what? If we kill this off, it could be a momentum gainer. It could not be. It depends on, you know, what we do with that information. But hopefully, it gets the boys fired up. And again, if the pattern continues, then we should win the next game. And we will break it in game seven. That's where the pattern will finally go off course. <laughs> Maybe. Final chance here for the Golden Knights. They do the dive again. Have they been practicing that play or something? They seem to really like it. Okay. Whew. At least they didn't get one more. 5-2 looks a lot better than 6-2. Ooh, okay. Take a slap shot right at their captain. Bold strategy. If this was real life, I would not support that whatsoever. But it's a video game, so I'm all in. If you want to take a clap bomb at his torso, give her. One final save. And we are headed back to the Honda Center. I, I still hope that is what it's called. I haven't looked really, but Honda Arena doesn't really have the same ring to it. I hope it's the Honda Center, if it is Honda. Oh, you know what? They ended up with 38 shots. That's not terrible. Well, we put ourselves in this situation. It is do or die. Will we be starting next episode with a game seven of round one? Or will we be starting next episode in season four? I think it's season four. First things first, I want to see if Trevor is injured. Yeah, he is. Oh no. Wait, I think I can go to scratched? Yeah. Well, that is a massive dent to our lineup. That's our best player. 
Let's rally for him. Here we go. Game number six with our backs against the wall. Times eight, simulation, speed, and they get a power play right off the bat. Are we going to do this for Trevor or not? Kill it off. Nice. Beautiful. No goals just yet. Hasn't really been an offensive first period by the looks of it. Shots aren't super high. All right. It is a scoreless first. We enter the second now. Shots are very even in this one. And there we go. Forche. That's our guy. Barry's one for the Ducks. And we have a one goal lead. And there we go again. Barabanov with a power play. Oh, yeah. I really hope that Trevor comes back for game seven. That's how confident I am. This is going to seven. Let's get it done. Hopefully we don't get any injuries here and we can go into game seven with the roster that we currently have. Did they just take a penalty or did he just get knocked over? No, I guess it was just a little nudge. But yeah, we already lost Trevor. We cannot afford to lose any more players, but we can afford to score. Captain Frank gets us on the board in the third, and it is a four-goal game now. Blocker shave. And let's head back the other way, shall we? Nice pass. Way to use the boards. All right, that was just a kerfuffle in the middle of the ice. McTavish, wonderful back check. Go end-to-end. -end. You won't. You know what? I'm fine with that. Again, the pass was perfection. This has to be one of the most even first round series I've ever seen. I mean, the scores might not be like crazy close in every game, but still, it has literally been win-loss trading back and forth the entire time all the way up to game seven. That's nuts. Get out of here, Willie. Really? Really, Willie? You're gonna run me like that? Well, now your goalie's gonna pay the price. Let's go. Let's go! I would scrap Carlson if I could, but I can't. So instead, Robin is going to feel my wrath. Oh, he actually does. Okay. All right, I see you. Oh, oh, what happened there? And we get up close in person. He's gonna throw a punch. Ooh, I kind of want to go for an uppercut. There you go. And, oh, I still don't know how you can dodge off of a dodge. It's kind of cool. Anyway, okay, let's, oh, okay. Really need to focus up here. And see you later, Mr. Leonard. Hannafin, you know what? You are welcome to stand in my way. Mm, blocker save. Once again. They seem to really be going for those short side shots and it's not working. Great effort. That was almost a five goal game. I feel like we really do well actually on four on four. I should fight more often. All right, they are on. Went for the low blocker shot that time and it didn't make it through the crowd. DeBrusque is in, loses it. That was a pickpocket if I've ever seen it. He didn't even know what was going on. He went to take the slap shot still thinking it was there and it sure wasn't. Skate, skate Troy. What a goal! We have a 5-0 lead. This is a beatdown. They shot the puck and the glass broke, so... I feel like the face-off should go outside. Because they shot it. It's their fault. Just my thought. Kick it away with the right mini-wheat. And Hannafin was there for the rebound. He was all over the con. Smythe winning Jonathan marches so... McTavish in the corner. Wins the battle with the help of DeBrusque. Comes out in the slot. And Leonard with a spectacular save. Zach Whitecloud is in. Gives it off to Carlson. I really like the way our defense have been in front of the net. I feel like that time during the season that we were getting completely deleted, they were nowhere to be found. But... We changed something, evidently, because they're there. Really, Wild Bill? He is playing a dangerous game right now. Messing with old Scotty. I should be able to fight players. I think in, like, NHL 06, 
You could be a goalie fighting a player. I don't know how you pull that off, but I'm quite sure it was possible. Barbashev. Oh, he did get it back. Blockered away, though. Battle in the corner. Seven minutes to go. And that five-goal lead is looking beautiful. Why do they insist on going for the blocker? It hasn't worked out for you in this game at all. I, to be fair, neither has Glove. So, I redact that statement. I truly have had enough of Wild Bill and his antics, though. And you know what? What comes around's all around, so he'll get his. What a move. What a goal! Holy smokes! We really are rallying for Trevor right now. I have not seen our team play like this maybe ever. Wasn't a big fan of my positioning there. <laughs> nope. Whoa, no need for the desperation there, Scott. Let's relax. And take in the fact that we still have a shutout going. Yeah, that's right. Wow. This is like really out of control. I'm pretty sure they still have Leonard in the net as well. So he is going to be extremely unhappy. How do you guys go offside there? What is going on? Is it 8 nothing? Like, can we calm down? I don't want to give them too much motivation. Alright, you know, we absolutely bury them in this game. They're going to be pissed. I'm here for it. Like, good job. Keep scoring. Do you. But, like, we probably done. All right? This is more of a statement for what they did to our star player. Showing that, you know, we're good even without him. But with him, we're better. So if we can beat them this badly without Trevor, we could beat them even worse with him. Maybe. I don't know, I'm just making it up. 31 save, shutout, and only third star? Are you kidding me? I hate to alarm you, but I literally couldn't have done anything better. I didn't let in a goal. Sim up to game number seven, and we have a conversation with the reporter. What is going on? What's up? What are you doing? First game seven, are you nervous? Do I look nervous? It's always exciting. Doesn't matter which league it is. Is there a key to victory? Yeah, winning. Scoring more goals than the other team. There's your key. You can use it to unlock. No! I don't want to promise. Let me use diplomatic. Well, we don't have a choice. Anyway. What, is, what promise did I even make? Because I didn't read anything. It's probably... Oh, I thought it was gonna be like, have a 990 save percentage. But no, we're chilling. All right. 910 is acceptable. How about the kid? I'm just channeling my inner James here. 919, 260. GAA, solid. We are 3-3-0. Unfortunately, we are headed back to Nevada, but we will not be on home ice. But fortunately, we just deleted them. Made a statement. Will Trevor be back for game seven? No, he's still gone. Is there like an injury report anywhere I can see how long he's out for? The rest of our team is still intact. Yeah. Well, get Olin in there. Is that? I thought his name was Owen. Interesting. Okay. The more you know. But. Hmm. At least we have a reason to rally still. The first game seven that we will ever be starting will be the start to next episode. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. If you could like and hit that bell button. And I guess that also goes along with hitting the button that says subscribe on it. Um... I heard that if you do that, we win the cup. It's just what I heard though. Rumor on the street. Rumor mill. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon.